Welcome to the channel. My name is Yacht. My family and I are documenting our journey to find a place where we can be happy, safe, enjoy a healthy outdoor lifestyle with a relatively low cost of living. So tag along during our search for this special place. First stop in my tour of the Argov uh, was Luz. I actually spent the night there, but my first full day in the Argov, I wanted to check out these little villages named Salima and Burgau. They're a little west to Luz and Lagos, uh, not too far, maybe 20 minute drive from, from Luz and Lagos, uh, a little bit further, but I wanted to check these little places out because when I looked on the map, they're right along the coast, little villages. They looked pretty charming from the pictures that were posted on Google and etc. So I definitely wanted to check them out. So I ended up driving from Luz. It took me maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes to get to Salema, which was uh, the furthest west I was going to go in the Argarve. And when I got there, first impressions were pretty good, pretty good very cute uh, nice little village right there on the ocean um, they had like the i guess the little I wouldn't say apartments but little townhouses a row of townhouses right there right there on the water and then you're surrounded by hillsides mountains per se and the beach was wide and expansive lots of sand um, i saw a few families there you know, there weren't a ton of people that were hanging out there on the beach. And it seemed that a lot of the people that were there were actually driving in from other towns. Mostly everyone I saw, you know, the 15, I don't know, 15 to 18 people that I saw when I was there for roughly two hours, they drove in. So they came via car just like I did. So I didn't see a lot of activity from locals, so to speak. All the shops were completely closed. I mean, there was there was it was basically a, a ghost town um, beyond, I guess, the tourists that were there just on vacation. So, I, I guess that's one of the things I will caveat it with that it, it was during the you know the heat of winter, so to speak, and it was it was dead. It was completely dead. So, like I mentioned, it was there roughly two hours, hung out a bit, hung out at the beach because it was nice and wide, expansive. Uh, on the, I guess, the east side of the beach, there was a huge, huge uh, rock wall of, of gorgeous stone just jutting out of the, the ocean. And it was absolutely gorgeous. It was eye-catching. And just the color of the rock, you can see the striations of, the, I guess, the, the different... Uh, layers of sediment that had built up over the millennia. It was, it was dope. It was really cool. Um, so that was a definitely pro. Other than that, like I said, it was it was really charming. I walked up and down the streets right behind the I guess the row of townhouses right on the beach. The streets were very narrow, charming, but everything was shuttered up. I mean everything. No restaurants were open. Nothing. So. I mean, be, I guess beyond it being like a, a tourist destination in the summer. And I, I was even told that a lot of Portuguese actually come down during the summer as well or during vacation. And there's like their secondary homes down there. So for people who want to actually live there on a, on a you know, year long basis, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just not I don't think it's viable, especially if you're single. Hell, if you even got children. There's no one there to interact with. It was just completely, completely desolate. So, you know, just be careful when you when you're considering these little small villages and stuff like that. 
some of them are really really sparse uh, on people and etc so um you know that was just the one thing that i noticed immediately and that was my impression of salema after being in salema um i went another i guess 10 minutes east heading back towards Luz and lagos and i stopped in another little village called Burgao. now Burgao was the same super super desolate but even more desolate than salema i'm talking the entire hour, an hour and a half that I was there, I saw five people. Literally, five people. And it was it was funny because I actually talked to two of the people that was there. there. There was a couple who had rented an Airbnb there in like the center of Bagao. And they were just like, look, we're pretty much the only ones here. And they actually had to drive a little bit out of the town to, to get food and, you know, shopping and everything groceries whatever because everything was shut down i mean it was completely dead and uh, and, and just you know to, to give you color of the time that i was there it was roughly the first week of february so you know it was like i said in the in a, in a dead of winter but it was completely desolate and i i was hungry and uh, and there was nothing to, there was nothing to get there was nothing open everything was closed and it was the same all the housing that was there all the little apartments and and along the road little townhouses everything was shuttered up so i i i suspect that it's around the same thing as like salema where people use that place as like a secondary home vacation um during the summer months and you know summer break and they all go there to their secondary home and chill out and I assume it gets pretty busy during those times, just like the rest of the Argov. But if if you're considering it to be there during the the you know year long and and you know during the off season, just beware. It is boring. Uh, there's there's no way to put it. I, I think people be bored to death uh, unless you unless you absolutely want solitude. Then those two little villages may be for you. You know, because there's there's nothing there. So that was my initial impressions. Uh, there's nothing much more to talk about. Um, um, I, I, well, I will add, lastly, now that I'm thinking about it, the beach in Burgau, it's a lot smaller than Salema. It has a nice backdrop because literally the rocks in the mountains kind of shape the, the outer rim of the beach. There's a very little small section of sand compared to the other nearby beaches. And to kind of get down into the beach, you have to go down this this massive, I guess, boat ramp. And I mean, it it looks OK, but it's not the greatest beach in the area. So that's also something to consider while you're there, when you're looking at beach destinations and places kind of to enjoy and, and spend your money on. So keep that into consideration when you're, you know, you're deciding on which place to kind of stay in. So that was my final thought on Salema and Bergao. You know, definitely check out those places. I, I guess there'll be, you know, pretty good places to check in the summer. But if you're going during the, the winter months and off season, yeah, I, I recommend to check some other places out. Just, you know, just because there's more action. There are more people. There are more restaurants, more places. You know, just, just generally, there's just more stuff to do, more places to eat. So... That was, my, that was my initial impressions on to let member gal once again thank you for checking out the channel and if you guys have any questions just leave them in the comments and i'll you know respond as soon as i can all right thank you